Eliminated. Pull back. Grid zero. Two eight. Zero two eight. Four. Under fire. Six. Return to formation. Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Pete Breaker and today we are taking a look at the Ormuth 3 Alpha which has launched on Tuesday and everybody with an additional 33 bucks can get it on Arma3.com. So this is not going to be a real review of the game, it's more going to be some sort of first thoughts, first impression thingy kind of thing. So I'm quickly going to take a look at the good, the bad and the ugly. Now first of all as you can see they drastically enhanced the GUI. And uh, by enhance, I mean it looks more modern. It doesn't look like the Ormut 2 <laughs> 1995 style kind of thing. And I really like that. You find your stuff that you're looking for in the first place. And uh, it just looks solid. And uh, heading over to the single player, which looks gorgeous. I mean, the graphics of this thing are, <laughs> I don't know, like, I love them. They, they look gorgeous. Like the trees, the grass, the whole texture. The, the soldiers, they all look so well. And, and this is, no, this is alpha. So they're probably going to work upon that even further. So I'm really looking forward to the full game. And I really want to see how it looks when it's finally uh, finished. So um, there is like all these different environments in the game. You can, you can go swimming. You can walk, walk around on the island. You can drive around in the, in the, in the vehicles. You can uh, kind of fly in the, the jets. I guess you can fly in the Alpha, but you can fly uh, helicopters in the Alpha. So that's pretty cool. And uh, there's actually only four uh, kind of showcases or single player missions in this Alpha. So it's not a whole lot, but it kind of gives you an impression of the whole thing and it wants to see more. So uh, FPS wise, I get around 40 to 60 frames depending on whether or not I'm I'm inside of a village or in the open world, like in the trees and in the, like in the in the forest, and that is pretty amazing. I mean, uh, I'm only running this on a GTX 480, which is really not up to date. I mean, this one is an old graphics card, and Armor 3 is one of the reasons why I'm definitely gonna have to update my graphics card. The rest of my computer is pretty okay. I got an i7 3370K. Um, 16 gigabytes of RAM, so that shouldn't be limiting me. Uh, but the graphics card really is. But we're gonna talk about uh, performance a little bit later in the multiplayer part. Um, so another cool thing about this game is the animations. Uh, if you look at the other soldiers and how they're walking and crouching and and just everything is is so natural. It looks it looks really amazing. I mean, they have done an amazing job in implementing stances, at prawn, lying, standing. You can even do uh, like high prawn or uh, low prawn, high stand. There's I don't know like nine different uh, ways to stand in this game. It's it's amazing. And of course, the key uh, bindings are are so complex. I mean, this game has like I don't know a billion trillion possibilities to bind keys and. It's really, you really have to get accustomed to the whole uh, uh, stuff, but um, yeah, it's, it's Arma, I mean, it's, it's a complex uh, military simulator and you kind of can do everything that you really can do in real life. Um, so it has to be kind of complex. So um, heading over to the physics, they uh, actually improved some of the, of the vehicle physics. Um, driving around in the cars is not all that clunky anymore. It, it looks more natural and more, more responsive. And you don't just uh, flip or fly in the air because of a of a rock in front of you or something like that, like it did in Arma 2. And also there are um, back rear mirrors and uh, picture in picture um, things. That that is just amazing. I mean that you can look at the mirror and really get kind of a mirror feeling and and see what's behind you. 
that is just something I have never seen in any other game before. And uh, it kind of bugs me in Battlefield 3 uh, in the Tank Destroyer. You have this kind of back rear mirror right in front of your face all the time. And it just shows a, an ugly gray, grayish picture. I don't know, whatever. It's just, if they don't fully include it, why do they even get it into the game? I don't understand that. So overall, the single player or the campaign or the, the showcases, whatever you want to call it, are amazing. Graphics are fluent. The emotion and everything is is, is amazing. And one other thing, uh, they uh, changed the grenade um, animation so you can actually run and throw a grenade at the same time, which is way more realistic than it was in Army 2 where you had to stand like for 10 seconds and not be able to do shit, which is just, it was just <laughs> atrocious. I don't know, I hated that. So heading over to the bad, and unfortunately the multiplayer aspect of this game falls into the bad for me. Now first of all, they have not changed the GUI for the multiplayer, so the server browser is exactly the same as Arma 2. Joining a game looks exactly the same with the receiving stuff, and it still gets stuck at receiving, which is annoying. I thought they're gonna fix that for Arma 3. And it just looks like they haven't done a whole lot on the interface for the multiplayer. I mean, the map looks the same, and yeah, it's... I know they changed a little bit of the colors, but overall it's just the same. And I, I was really expecting something a little bit more modern. I mean, it looks like Arma 2, and Arma 2 has been out for a couple of years, so it looks old to me. And here you see the settings in which I'm running multiplayer in. Uh, I've tried different settings, and that's one of the part of the bad. Uh, I've tried pretty much any setting, like from ultra low to ultra high, and I can tell you, ultra low looks like CS1, and, or even worse like than that, and I still get atrocious frame rates. Unfortunately, in multiplayer, I only get about 24 frames, which is borderline unplayable, literally. I mean, play with 24 frames, you can't, you can't hit shit, it's impossible. And uh, part of the reason that I have such low frame rates is because I'm running... Uh, this only with a 480, a GDX 480. It's an overclock one, but it's still only 480, so that's not all that um, up to date. Uh, it's also an alpha, you can say. I mean, they're definitely gonna improve upon the upon the performance from this point. They have to. The other point being is the game has a very very fancy way of destruction. Uh, every building on the map is enterable and destructible, uh, which means that the engine has to run the, uh, to to calculate everything. So yeah, it's, it's kind of it's kind of okay not to have all that high frame rates. I kind of understand that. It's probably because of that. And now heading over to the ugly. And this is really one point that they have to change. Uh, it seems like the game only uses one to one and a half CPUs for me. And even on that, it only uses about 60 to 80 percent of the CPU power. And I don't quite understand. While on the other, on one side they're using like my whole graphics card, it's maxed out all the time, and on the other side they're not really using any of my super duper CPU that I have, and that is just kind of okay because I guess people usually have better CPUs than they have a, a very very high end graphics card, and. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I mean, uh, I guess if you have a 680 SLI, you can run this game like shit. So that's one part which I really hope they're gonna improve upon. Uh, but overall, I'm really impressed. I mean, it's an alpha overall, and the game really, really works smooth. I mean, in the beginning you saw me, like, killing everybody of the opposing team, and uh, that was, like, the one and only uh, time I was really going onto a kill streak. <laughs> but it was amazing. I mean, you can drop an enemy in one shot, and you can be dropped in one shot, and that is just your heart rate is on thousand, and you're sweaty, and oh my god, where are they coming from? It's just amazing. It's nice immersion. And uh, also about the uh, Alpha Three keys, which I wanted to give away in this video. Unfortunately, they have not given us the key already, so I don't really want to promise something that I don't have, or I don't want to. I don't want to give something away that I don't really have. Which is why I didn't uh, do this competition right now. I will definitely doing it as soon as we get the keys. And also note that these keys can only be used for the single player campaign. You can't add a, um, go into multiplayer, and you're also not allowed to be um, to use the mods tools. But it still gives you a pretty nice overview of the game, and it pretty much shows you how beautiful this game looks and how smooth it can run in single player. 
So I guess that was pretty much it for this first false overview of Orma 3. Um, I'm really, really psyched for this game. I think the beta is gonna really ramp up stuff and the full game is just gonna blow everything away. At least that's what I hope. This game has definitely the potential to become one of the big AAA titles in the future. And I'm really excited to look forward to more of Arma 3. And I hope you are too. So I'm gonna leave you with this and wanna thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Ciao!